Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the stream. Um, my name is Rebel Size. You probably know me from the YouTube channel. Uh, we do these YouTube uh, streams and Twitch streams every now and then. Usually they are uh, behind the scenes development, uh, like landscaping or 3D artists working on uh, whatever task they are supposed to tackle at the moment or at that moment in time. Um, <clears throat> So what this is, is uh, we're just celebrating the uh, the launch of the trailer. Um, it took a lot of hard work and we're super proud um, of how it turned out. So um, yeah, thank you. Thank you all very much for the likes so far, for the comments, for those who have shared it uh, on the internet. We really, really do appreciate it. So a big thank you. And also, of course, a big thank you to uh, everyone on our amazing development team. It's been such an amazing journey working on this project. Yeah, I just, I really can't thank everyone uh, enough. Um, so what is this live stream? Um, it's a bit random. It's just to celebrate the, uh, the launch of the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna hop in game, show you some behind the scenes of uh, the trailer, uh, of some of the locations we recorded. Uh, I think you might enjoy seeing that and yeah it's not going to be too long because I have a very interesting um, interview or an internship tomorrow which if I do get it I'm going to be sharing with all you guys sure um, which I will see how it goes anyway I hope you enjoyed the trailer um, and actually before we start I'm gonna let you guys listen to the uh, trailer soundtrack uh, but this time without any uh, sound effects. So I think you're going to really love it because it is truly, truly amazing. So without further ado, the uh, teaser trailer track without background noise. Literal goosebumps, you guys. Goosebumps. All right, let's see how this puppy uh, runs for reals.
you might notice that um, on the special edition, our user interface is not actually implemented, unlike uh, Legacy Skyrim. Uh, but that will happen soon, DM. No, it's not Crisis. Lani asks, can you change the Skyrim interface? Uh, Skyblivion has its own UI. It's been completely redesigned. The design is done. Artwork is done. It will be implemented um, before the end of the year. So you remember this shot from the trailer probably. Uh, where we show the guards behind uh, the barricades. What you might not have noticed is all the dead bodies, all the civilians, and also scams who've been slaughtered. Pretty gruesome. Uh, Wadi asks if I like cats. Yes, I do. I like dogs better though, but... Easier to find cats. Slani asked if we if we will put more guards in the game overall. Yes, if you mean if the battles will be bigger, then yes, definitely. The battle the battles will have more NPCs, more enemies in general. Do you see that sword drawing animation? Oh. So I think the knife mesh is actually missing in this area, which is why the uh, scamp will only attack it when you're actually like standing on top of it. This fucker looks amazing. Hey, Degentric, you did such an amazing job. I honestly loved it. Um, yes. The battle sounded so, so good. Captain Matthias. I'm gonna put down another. Ow! Oh god, he does a lot of damage. Well, well, must have run off. Let's leave uh, Kavash burning for now and head to the Gold Coast. Yes, there's definitely a hollow street, uh, tree stump in the market district. And this is uh, the baser, yeah. It's a unique sword, a short sword that you could get for uh, catching uh, the guy who supplies one of the traders in the market district with uh, really cheap goods. Yes. 
Lani asked if we will implement Oblivion sounds. Yeah, the sound effects will either be Oblivion or something redesigned that's similar to it or improved in some way. I'm not gonna steal it. Uh, this area of the map is actually, in comparison, a bit wonky looking. Uh, because it is on the border of a claim. It's in between uh, the West Weld and the Gold Coast, which is why it's so empty and maybe not as polished looking. Uh, yes, the original voice acting will be used. Can I show the ebony armor? I sure can. put it on its textures need a bit of tweaking to make it more black it's currently a bit gray but the design is uh, really good concept art was done by geese and 3d modeling by Spyros Frigus Five Fingers asked how the uh, the Horse Armor DLC is coming along. We're actually focusing on the main game. So as funny as Horse Armor DLC is, uh, it's not something that's part of our core focus. The core focus is the main game. And uh, Dipna, yes, that is Volendrum. Which I think was made by Borks25, or at the very least the textures were by him. If anyone wants to read up on some interesting lore, uh, Google Volant and Drung and its origin. It's pretty cool, some of the uh, Elder Scrolls lore. Will there be special Dark Brotherhood listener armor? Um, for the moment, we have a thing that's called scope uh, creep. So scope creep means that as cool as it would be to create unique armor for certain quests, uh, armors, especially in clothing, are very time uh, consuming to make. So we're not saying no to those concepts, but it's probably going to be something that we're gonna do after release. Because currently our focus is just getting all the basic armor sets in game and uh, giving you all a, a playable uh, video game. It's it's great having all those little details, and I can assure you that we really enjoy working on it. But in some cases, it's better to just uh, stick to the plan and focus on the main game. Yeah, we do have two different types of assassin armor, which are basically just two different texture sets. And that's a very cheap uh, and easy way to make unique armor sets, in a sense. That they look different, but they're kind of the same. because I don't have god mode and I kind of don't want to kill everything on this save file. <laughs> what do we have to work on before release? So, uh, mainly in order to release we have to replace all the oblivion meshes. Uh, a lot of that has been done, but we still have some major tasks, like the architecture. What you see here is uh, from Oblivion, actually. It's not our own work, plus you can see the seams, which is not good. Um, 
Though I should note that the anvil set, the meshes uh, are mostly done. Just need to be finished up. Um, but yeah, the, the biggest task currently is to uh, finish our architecture um, and the quest implementation. Implement implementation of quests is very tedious. Uh, mostly because it requires people with a skill set that's not very easy to come by. Um, so our quest department is, is very, very small. It's basically a two-man department. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a chore getting that done. But as you can see, the landscaping is coming along uh, really well. Most of the exterior landscaping, as I mentioned in the, uh, the update video, has been completed. Like the entire Gold Coast, as you can see here, is done. Uh, and I can actually show you the world map. Where you can see that pretty much everything is there and everything is detailed. Like, the actual mountains over here. Uh, the forests, the swamps. A lot of talented people have been working tirelessly to, uh, to bring you all of this. But we're still not done, which is why we do stuff like the teaser trailer. Uh, we hope that the teaser trailer gets a lot of views. Not just because we want to get our name out there, but because every viewer is a potential volunteer. Um, out of maybe like 100,000 viewers, we get 10 volunteers. So the more views we get, uh, the more potential help we can get to finish the project sooner rather than later. Uh, can you see Skyrim from the current map? Uh, technically, yes. We're currently in a region called the Gold Coast, which I should note looks a lot different than in Oblivion. Uh, our Gold Coast is much more like a beach and a Mediterranean area. Uh, plus, you weren't able to see Kavach from here in Oblivion because there were a lot of hills in the way. Uh, our Gold Coast is much more leveled. Much nicer layers. To the left to High Rock it's uh, a lot higher though. Much more sandstone but to the right it's very timid unlike in Oblivion. Um, <clears throat> but yeah as I was saying this is currently the, the Gold Coast. Over here we have the Hardlands. Uh, in between the Hardlands, the Gold Coast and the Clovian Highlands is Kavach. This is the Highlands. If we follow the mountains of the Highlands to the north, we come back to the Jarrow Mountains, this area, which is also where you can find Castle Bruma. Um, now beyond, beyond these walls, uh, mountains, is Skyrim, which you can't really see on the map. Uh, but we're going to be expanding the mountainside a little bit so that we can have the Skyrim border gates and some nostalgic uh, Skyrim easter eggs over in that direction which uh, should be pretty fun to work on and of course yeah the teaser trailers are also to remind people that no we're not dead uh, we're very active on social media we post once a week same goes for Skywind. Uh, but we hadn't done any videos for a while in Skyblivion, and this is the reason why, because we wanted to make it a big one. You know, we have been working our asses off getting creatures in game, getting quests, somewhat working, and uh, all that hard work is paying off, and we can see the results. Uh, pretty great, if I do say so myself. What kind of stuff are we looking for in volunteers? That's a very good question. Um, we are looking uh, for a lot of different things, really. Most importantly, I would say, currently are the 3D artists. Um, because there is a lot of 3D assets that have to be remade. Like a ton. Uh, every little thing you see on screen has either been remade or still needs to be remade. Uh, so 3D artists, we need as many as we can get, as many as we can get really. 
Then, besides 3D artists, of course, uh, creation kit specialists, people who have worked on landscapes, who can do spells, who can help with implementation, polishing, and bug fixing. Uh, coders, hackers, if you will, uh, are desperately needed. These guys will help create the tools for our uh, tech department, which, among other things, is used for the quests. Uh, and these are the hardest to come by. Um, coders are a rare, rare breed, or at least there are a lot of people who dabble in code, um, but the level of knowledge needed to work on the tools that we're creating and using is kind of on a different level. Um, like literally the people who work at Microsoft or Intel, for instance, um, are able to help us. Uh, our, our, our own lead works at Intel, previously worked at Microsoft. To give you an example, and these are actually the only people that are able to help us. Uh, we have a little test on our volunteer form. If you check that out on, on our website, uh, there's a link to a test that you can work on. And if you can, I think, compile some data, um, basically, like, level up, you can try out the next thing. So, by all means, have a look. But yeah, those are the two uh, types of volunteers that we need the most. Also, this I'm kind of proud of. In Oblivion, you had something similar to this, but much smaller. Ooh, what was that? Oh, thank you very much, Captain Shack, for hosting us with one view. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, so this area is um, a bit of a scenic place that Clef J worked on. And I really like how it turned out. So we're gonna have, there's a painting here. Um, someone's gonna make a little sketch of the uh, the Anvil Bay and we'll put it down on a, a painting and pop it down. Great. Yeah. I don't know, just, I really like this area. Anvil especially is such a cool place. Oh, and by the way, a huge shout out to Stade, who has made these amazing weathers. Uh, I'm not using an EMB, I'm not using uh, any sort of After Effects, this is all how it looks in game. The the Skyrim you know, which is very grey and colorless, uh, is basically dead. This is Cyrodiil, um, we have high blues, high yellows, greens, reds, the pink sunsets, and the red sunrises. And Clef J is responsible for this entire area. He's been absolutely nailing it. And this is interesting. This is one of the uh, new mud crabs. We actually have several variations of mud crab, uh, which I can probably show you. It's probably easier to go to the test room and show you uh, all these bad boys. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna show you some Dramora, actually. Uh, give me a second. Let's make a save file real quick.
shit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for screaming there. So these are uh, some of our new creatures. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm seriously sorry about screaming there. Just the, the scream. I, I wasn't prepared for that. As I mentioned in the trailer, the creatures have unique screams and all that stuff. So this is one of the... Uh, raid rock. We have another one, which looks a lot more like the crocodile that you know. The Xilvali, which you've seen in the trailer. Which does a really scary float. And it float around, which is fucking terrifying. Uh, the scams, of course. There's still plenty of stuff that's not been implemented yet. Uh, something else that's pretty cool is our zombies, if we can find them. Oh, there we go. So we have the headless zombie. The headless zombie. The regular zombie boy. Look at those ass cheeks. Uh, yeah. Headless zombie or a zombie without jaw. Uh, yeah. Quite something. See, these are some of our creatures that are currently implemented. Uh, there's also like a shit ton of mud crabs and shit. Um, I'm here. In new rats. Oh, there's a mud crab. Yeah. What leveling system are we using? Um, it's TBD. Most likely something more uh, like Skyrim, which doesn't use the insane level scaling like Oblivion did. Uh oh, like I. Uh, all the DLC. Kernel um, are put on hold until the main game is completed. So the first focus is getting Cyrodiil, like Oblivion as it was on the day it released out. And after that, we're going to be focusing on the DLC. Right, okay, I can't use my weapons. That's fine, we're just going to go passive and not fight anything. Did you see the Grey Call name? Oh yeah, you did. Um, yes, we are adding cut content, good question, but we're not doing anything to restore Kavaj. I mean, we have so much work ahead of us with just the base game that, you know, as much fun as it would be to actually rebuild Kavaj and see the city alive and well again it's just so much extra extra work and planning that i mean we might do it as like a dlc but on release no that's not gonna happen not until all the dlc are completed and the main game is done go sonic for a second so we can move around the map a bit faster because i don't have all night unfortunately to do this also X. are any interiors done uh generally yeah interiors need a lot less work than the exteriors because those are really outdated. Interiors aren't as bad, though we're definitely touching those up. Here.
Yeah, Clef J definitely did uh, an amazing job in this area. Uh, we do not need translators as uh, Oblivion has been translated into a lot of languages and since we're not changing any of the quests or dialogue, it's easy to um, just more or less reuse that. And Trotra, is the grass done for our regions? No, because we lost our uh, grass guy actually. What you see is like his latest work, but it's not as good as we'd like it to be. Uh, but we found someone new who's going to be starting on the grasses relatively soon. So for instance, this grass is way too dark and also too high. It's, it's about as high as the player, which is obviously not a good thing. Um, but it's going to be improved upon and it won't actually cost us any research, uh, resources since it's one guy who does nothing besides grass for us. Uh, no, Tommy, that's not me. I'm, I know that someone does that, but I, I don't. I'm sorry. Someone else on the team is responsible for that. Uh, the ebony armor is going to be looking a lot better. This, though, might be a decent look for the um, ebony armor that's being worn by Umbra, maybe? Though we have a unique armor set for that, too. Will the speech minigame uh, be included in Skyblivion? It depends. We had a working, somewhat working demo, by the way, such. Such is a city that was cut from Oblivion and we're kind of rebuilding it, so this is. Just ignore it. It's going to be a lot better. Although, for the ruins, this is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, the. Um, the minigame was being worked on, and we'll see if it's it's like functional enough to be included in the game eventually. I hope so. Ah, uh, D. Ah, uh, and. Oh, that's sad. By the way, if you're watching this and you haven't liked the trailer, if you haven't commented on how good, bad, nostalgic, sad, or anything between you thought it was, please do so now. Because the comments are a great way to collect feedback, uh, to see what we did well and what we can improve upon. And the likes are just really good for our egos. Don't hold back. Uh, we're definitely we're adding a lot of extra locations. The uh, Skyblivian world map is uh, a lot more detailed um, than Oblivion's. There are a lot more settlements and locations for you to explore and discover. Uh, one that I can actually show you real quick, which is not really that special. Um, but just the fact that it's there, I think is a pretty big deal because it um, it rewards exploration which is something that I if I was a game developer and I was making my own game from scratch I would really want to emphasize on like people who check out every crevice of the map should be rewarded with uh, unique items good loot this is the place I'm talking about this is it's very tiny, it's very small. I think there's a hidden chest somewhere. I'm actually 100% sure it is. But I don't know where it is anymore. Uh, but you can only find this place if you go down uh, the mountainside, which you first have to climb up. You have to go all this way up there, and then instead of going to the town, you have to go to the top over here and then make your way down there in order to find these uh, this little an area which I think is very cool but yeah, that's a big focus of ours when it comes to Skype Oblivion and the landscaping department is that we really want to reward exploration um, you're not always going to find something special in a hidden place but they are there 
And uh, it's up to you to find all our little hidden secrets and chests and whatnot. And also some fun Easter eggs. This is also a pretty cool area, by the way. It's a uh, canyon that you've also seen in the trailer. Which is very cool and claustrophobic. And uh, there's a um, pretty cool mechanic in Skyrim where you can make boulders drop and the player gets close, like it gets triggered. I think this might be the perfect place to do that or maybe have some goblins on top that might attack you or bandits. Plenty of, uh, plenty of cool things we can do. Underwater exploration is definitely something that I'd like to get into at some point. But again, it's not really a priority because most people won't be checking out what's underwater. I can't blame them. Can you summon scams? Yes, you can. Nice, already 25,000 views. That's that's amazing. That's great news. These are the uh, Colovian Highlands, by the way. Which also are a lot different from uh, how they looked in Oblivion. In general, our, our regions are much more varied. Like the Colovian Highlands are very sparsely forested, um, very, very rocky, very barren. Uh, and then if we, this is also done by Clef J, by the way. But then if we go over this way, this is a, um, it's also interesting to showcase maybe. So this is uh, a piece of land in between claims. On the right, we have the Great Forest, which is being worked on by uh, Lorax, who's doing an amazing job there. And on the left, we have the Colobian Highlands. And in between, there's a plot of land that's kind of like, it's it's no man's land. Um, eventually, when uh, the respected claims are finished, we're going to be stitching those areas together, uh, which means there's going to be like a transition area where you go from the Great Forest Globian Highlands. The transition needs to be pretty smooth. Um, and, uh, you know, that's something for later down the road. Actually, we're going to look at the Great Forest because um, that's also a location where we shot the uh, fighting scene. Holy shit, are a thousand people watching us right now? Are you kidding me? Wowee. 800 people on YouTube and... How many on Twitch? Damn, 300 here, 900 on YouTube. Welcome everyone. Uh, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed our teaser trailer. By the way, there are links in the description uh, of YouTube and on the info panel on Twitch, all our social media, if you wanna stay updated. Uh, not miss anything. You know, at some point there's going to be a release um, a release date, so that's where it will be announced. This place you might recognize as Hector. Been completely be uh, completely redone from the ground up, uh, which is actually an idea from uh, Clef J, need something? who originally took on this claim. What do you need? And we have Lorax uh, putting his own touch on the area and finishing it up. But yeah, Hector looks absolutely phenomenal. And it's, it's located on this hill, on this cliff, which makes it seem even more menacing. Is this actually new? Isn't it? Ooh, 
spooky. <clears throat> I don't think we've shown any foggy weathers yet, so this is another weather type. That's also an interesting topic, is Skyblivian has a lot of different weather types and weather variations uh, that the player can come across. Uh, this being one of the less colorful ones, but still important for the, the diversity, of course. We won't be getting a Steam release, no. We'll be releasing on our own uh, website, which should be just as easy. This, ladies and gentlemen, should be a familiar sight. So, the way this fight is actually initiated is there's a trigger box somewhere which makes the soldiers and Daedra fight. I actually forgot where it is, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but the fight is still 100% legit. And, uh, yeah, these guys are just friendly until the morning. We start fighting. Need something? Yes. So we're just gonna let those guys be for now. But uh, that is actually a good example of what the um, the bigger living gate fights will look like. When you have guards from the uh, the cities who come and aid you, uh, though their numbers can be easily twice uh, as what we're seeing here, but for the trailer we thought it would be cool to have like a small band of mercenaries, and then when the player finally gets to the gates, most of the mer or all of the mercenaries have been slain. That was kind of the angle that we were going for. Uh, yes, Goggy, we are adding little Easter eggs of our own, definitely. <laughs> Lorax has done a really nice job with the, uh, the pathways through the forest, the trails, which really nice, nice way to kind of blindly guide you through the forest. You don't know where you're going to end up, you just know that someone or something has probably been there. That's an interesting question. So Colonel asks on Twitch if uh, we're going to allow people to make their own mods for Skyblivian. Uh, and yes, of course, we will be getting our own uh, mod page, actually, um, on the Nexus, so it's easier for people to share their creations with us. Um, but yeah, there's uh, definitely going to be mods, and we 100% support that as modders ourselves. Uh, and also, we're actually going to be releasing a lot of our work on uh, the Skyrim Nexus and Bethesda.net, in the near near future uh, our first release will be a unique weapon and an armor set and we will try to release something like let's say every month uh, we have a lot of cool armor sets for instance like the ebony one i'm wearing right now steel armor mithril armor uh, the guard armor sets that we can show uh, and share with you guys Actually, going to uh, take a tiny, tiny break, and I'll be right back. Well, I say break, but uh, I have to check something quick. But it'll, it'll only take. Oh a my God! It's hit. Yeah, this is ESO. <laughs>
There we go. Yeah, I had to thank ESO for uh, sharing our trailer on YouTube real quick. with they will claw your face off better hide oh yeah these scams are beefy as hell I was gonna say we're gonna check out the uh, Imperial City, but I want to go to the oak, the ancient oak forest before we do that. I'm sorry if you're getting seasick from like the insanely fast printing, by the way. Totally get it. I don't know if Lorax is watching, but I really like this uh, area right here. It looks really good. One thing that sets Skybolivian apart from well, basically most games and Oblivion included is that our biomes are very specific and unique. So, for instance, we have the redwoods of the or the uh, the redwoods of the Great Forest, which have these giant sequoias, and then we have the oak forest, which is ancient oak trees, as far as the eye can see. And this is something that we do throughout Cyrodiil. We try to make it our own, make it unique, make it interesting to explore. God, I'm... Do you know that way? I do know that way. Coming up, we have a pretty cool um, ruined fort, which is very nice. And then we're gonna Check out the Imperial City, I promise. There we go. What will you do with that white ebony armor? What do you mean? Lunch party means just celebrating that we uh, uploaded our new update trailer. Uh, I hope that it, it'll be received well. Um, so for those who are unfamiliar with the project, first of all, welcome welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoyed the video. The reason why we make those videos is to let people know that first of all, we're still working on it. Uh, but second of all, that we still need help. And uh, we hope that by sharing the video, we will reach potential volunteers. 3D artists, for instance, who can help us finish Skyblivian as soon as possible. And uh, for the people who want to you know, help us out but don't have any skills, uh, liking the video, sharing the video uh, already helps us out tremendously. Uh, because if you share the video on Reddit or on Twitter or wherever, uh, you might reach 3D artist who wants to work on this in his free time as a hobby, for instance. Uh, and every 3D artist or every, every 3D artist that can help us out 
uh, gets us, you know, a little bit closer to a release date. Yeah, all, all small bits help. So we've entered the uh, the heartlands of Cyrodiil, which is a very green and pleasant area to be in. It's um, kind of like Skyrim's tundra, but with uh, green grasses and nice green trees instead of the bald pines in Skyrim. I'm sure you guys remember Way. Way used to be just a small inn before you reached Imperial City. Um, what we've done with Way, though, is expand it. Because the way I, th I saw it is that uh, an inn so close to the, uh, the capital of Cyrodiil uh, should probably be a pretty great place for like, traders to come and sell their wares. So there's now a blacksmith, farmer, and a small market where people can sell their wares. And it's turned into an actual small city or settlement instead of just an inn. Nothing more, nothing less. Because this was the only building that used to be way quote-unquote. Uh, the person working on Blackwood uh, was D Keys, actually. I'll get to Blackwood soon enough. Yes. Valandreth. I'm quickly going to show you the, uh, the waterfront district, and then I'm going to move on to Blackwood, because that place is creepy as hell. Also, uh, not to jinx it, but we have been online for, let's see, up to, we have been online for an hour and we haven't crashed once, which is a very good sign. You know, stability is uh, obviously a pretty important goal. Also, I've been running at 60 FPS the entire time. I'm running the highest graphical options. Anyway, this is the um, Imperial Waterfront District, which is uh, slums area. Slum. Uh, this is where the lowest of the low gather. Lots of beggars, lots of thieves. Uh, there's actually a brothel, which isn't technically a thing in Oblivion, but it was in Morrowind, and, you know, it's, uh, I think it's pretty suiting for this uh, area. Oh, yeah, we remember this guy from the trailer. Lucian Machance. Wearing the new Dark Brotherhood armor, of which there's also a black variant. And, of course, the gem. Cyrodiil, Imperial City. Uh, something that we did with the Imperial City um, Island is adding a lot of farms, which are supposed to supply the city with uh, food, you know, grain to make bread, which is something that wasn't in the original game. The uh, islands were just pretty much empty except for the city. But that's just one of the many things that we change to give our own spin to. Because it just makes sense. This is where you are going to be exiting the sewers for the first time, by the way. This is going to be your view. The first thing you see this is your introduction to Cyrodiil, or it will be in the future. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, that our LODs, like our distant models for trees, are so detailed 
that you can barely see the difference between an actual tree and one that is rendered in, or uh, and one that is LOD. Um, they are much, 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 much higher quality than those in Skyrim. Not saying that Bethesda doesn't know their own engine, but they don't really push it to their limits or see how much it can do. Also, I love all the mountain peaks, like one, two, three, four, five of those pointy bastards on the horizon. Love it. I'm gonna check out Fort Blue Blood. One of my favorite places in the, um, the Blackwood area. Yes, Oblivion will have the original voices. Just look at this stuff. Oh my. These are actual swamps. It's um, not a small feat that we uh, accomplished here. The um, the area of of Blackwood uh, used to be very hilly, like everything in Oblivion. It was probably up to here, and consisted out of a ton of hills. Uh, but what we did, or what Keys did, because he's the one who actually executed it. I was just the one wielding the whip. Um, was level the entire. What was that? Thank you very much for the host, sir. So what we did is we um, took the entire marsh, the entire swamp, down to ground level and built it from there, heading back. Hey, thanks guys. Thank you very much for the hosts. Adding, uh, adding the bumps, hills, etc. back to swamp, basically. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, the marsh is so much more interesting now. It looks, it looks amazing. It feels amazing. It can scare the shit out of you. We have an area on the map that is completely covered in, in burned trees. If you light a torch in that place, it will actually blow you up. Because there are gases coming from the ground. Natural gases, methane. So using fire spells or a torch is a guaranteed way to die. Which is an interesting gameplay element if you're a mage because you're going to have to resort to other kinds of spells. It's... Where are you? I'm over here the map. Yeah, that's pretty fantastic. And especially with these foggy weathers, the atmosphere in this place is just amazing. By the way, thank you guys for all uh, all the love and support in the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, definitely check it out. Thank you very much for the raid. Grumpy old Nord. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't checked out the trailer yet, definitely do so. If you haven't liked it yet, come on, go back there. Give it a like. Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Tell us what you think. If you're new to Skyblivian, we have a website, we have an Instagram, we have Twitter, Reddit, of course, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. You can follow us there and uh, stay updated with the project. 
so you don't miss a thing. Also, a Discord server. If you're a fan of Discord, Discord is where you can ask the devs, all of us, me included, uh, questions about the project. We are always online on the server, always trying to answer questions or just talk with the community about topics like everything about Oblivion. We sometimes ask for help, for feedback on areas that we've created. That's yeah, a great place, very nice people. Sneaky. Uh, we do have a plan to add some NPCs for the Lefafros, and they are 100% uh, in, uh, interested in, in uh, helping us with that. Yeah, the Lefafros will be part of Skyblivian. Uh, all right. Yeah, D, if you, uh, <laughs> if you're interested. One area we haven't checked out much is actually Skingrad, which looks pretty amazing. The uh, user interface is redone, not yet implemented, but we have all new user interface art uh, ready to go. This is the new skin grab, by the way. It's a lot more high fantasy. And uh, I'll give you a tour of the area. Now keep in mind that nothing is final, so anything can change. ID. You're off the team. Uh, the music, the, it's actually all the people working on the trailer uh, are in the description of the video with links to their websites if you want to check it out. The voice actor, video editor, um, musician, and sound designer are all credited down there. Ah, oh, bro, you're leaving the swamp. Swamp stays. You're out. Oh, oh god. Thank you very much for the raid, sir. Or madam. Really? Oh, there's an invisible shield on you. Okay. Fair enough. Taking your shit, though. Peace. 
Yeah, this is the um, the West Weld, as it's called. Completely remade from scratch. It's not done yet. Um, but, hmm. Your money or your life. Now you're mine. Oh. Ah. I would fight if I could, but my mouse is uh, not working anymore for some reason. So, yeah, I'm not fighting today. Okay. Never mind. Everywhere I go, there's hostiles. Alright, we're gonna end the stream where we started it today at the uh, Oblivion Gate of Kvach. Fuck you! Fuck you too! Oh, no, you're a good dog. Who's a good boy? Yeah, we're not gonna show everything off today. That's not the point of the stream. Uh, it was just to kind of celebrate all the hype. Plus, it's kind of. I don't want to say it's boring to show everything off, but we're going to do a proper showcase around December for a special cause. And um, until then, we just need to work our asses off to give you the best demo, I suppose we can call it, uh, as possible. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. What do you need? Don't go near any oblivion gates. And by the nine, if you have to travel, stay on the roads. All right, guys, um, to end the stream, I'm going to show you guys, or let you guys listen to the soundtrack without any um, sound effects. Uh, you've heard the, uh, the song from the trailer, but you've never heard it without the voice acting or the sound effects. So I'm going to show you or let you listen to that uh, while we end the stream. If you have questions, I'll still be in chat and um yeah thank you guys just so much for the support towards the trailer um i really i loved every second working on this project well almost every second working on the project and i'm so proud of the team i'm so happy with the way the video turned out uh so yeah by all means if you haven't seen the trailer yet go check it out if you haven't liked or commented on it yet do that now Follow us on the social media links in the description down below. And, um, yeah. Also, give a special thanks in Twitch to Spyrus Frigas, who made this insane armor set. Not only that one, he also made the steel armor. It looks so good, and it will be playable for you guys very soon, because we're releasing this very armor set on the Nexus in the near future. I don't want to give out dates because that always works out. Um, but actually, it never works out. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Also, definitely follow our Twitch as we do behind the, scene, uh, behind the scenes development streams on there. Uh, landscapers such as D-Keys, Lorax, uh, or the Ludist often stream on there. Uh, every now and then we have three artists or concept artists also doing some streams. So definitely have a look and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in time. Actually, fuck that. We're going to log out at the Imperial City because that place is pretty as hell. I actually have a decent idea of where I can do that.
that's better. Well, I think we can actually do better than that. Let's see, pretty weather is going. There we go. I think one of our scenes was actually shot in this location or pretty close to it. All right, I'm going to pull up the uh, the music from the trailer without me talking through it. It's always a good thing. I hope you guys enjoy. And again, thank you for all the support. Have a good night. God. Gives me chills every single time. Holy shit, what a great song. So good. So insanely good. Um, actually, something that I can, might also do while we're at it. I mean, fuck it. Uh, does anyone want to rewatch the trailer with us? I can put it on. I, I can put the video on and we'll just rock that too. And then we'll call it in the night. One yes. Two yes. 3 yes, 4 yes, 5 yes, 6 yes, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, over 20. All right. Right. Um, this one is actually, this is the best looking version. I'm, I'm not sure if it'll look as good on YouTube or Twitch, but I know YouTube's compression is pretty bad. Yeah, well. Let's see if I can put it up on. All right. Does this work? Do you see anything? She is ailing. Nope. You basically see anything but the, uh, the actual video, so. Interesting. Eh. 
am launching it through OBS. That's the thing. I'll do um, I'll do my CK setup. It's fine. Cyrodiil, she is ailing. For centuries, the home of the Empire has been a province of peace and prosperity. But behind all the beauty, a danger is brewing, waiting for the opportunity to strike. some next level modding y'all that is oh ah. hey Kaljit welcome I'm sorry but you just missed the stream we're about to uh to call the night but thank you very much for the kind words what was my favorite part of the trailer um it was definitely the fight scene uh the part where we uh see the uh the guards tackle the uh the daedra at the gate holy shit that scene is so good it's actually the last scene that we shot it was literally shot yesterday we've been working on this trailer for weeks and that shot was filmed yesterday because uh until the last minute we were still making improvements um like, until yesterday or the day before, the scamps were not completely finished and in-game. So, yeah. Insane stuff. Oh, Today's been so stressful, you guys. No kidding. Getting this trailer out. But, uh, yeah, it, I'm so happy with the reception. There's a good chance uh, I or someone else will do a stream tomorrow. Uh, so we'll talk about it more then. Uh, until then, just I mean, thank you guys so much for all the amazing support. Uh, it means the world to us, and without you, we wouldn't be here. So keep it up. Keep sharing our work. Keep following us on our social media. And uh, yeah, if you want to hang out with us, with the developers team, uh, we are on Discord. There's a Discord link in the description. Definitely join us there. Uh, just have a good night. Keep sharing the video and uh, keep being awesome. Last question, Drakan. Um, no, we do not accept donations. I really appreciate the offer, but uh, the way we see it is we work on this project uh, for fun. And... Um, it's better to keep money out of the equation to keep it fun. So, appreciate the offer, but no thank you. And uh, have a great night. You too, Kajit. See you next time.
and we actually did test uh, Scram together and it worked pretty well. So, and that's pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm seriously gonna go now. So thank you guys, have a good night, keep being awesome, and uh, much love to the Scublivian team. You guys are amazing. And uh, I'll catch you next time.